So I decided to fly into the Big Island today and, uh, and visit Mauna Kea. Mauna Kea is a it's sacred land, it's a sacred mountain to all of Hawaiians and certainly to all Polynesians. These mountains are my ancestors. You know, for us, it's not just land, they're family to us. When you're high on the Mauna, the clouds are so far below you that you're actually in the sky and you're in that realm of Wakia. For Hawaiian people, we revere that top as being the realm of the gods. And so, you know, our families here in Waimea, that's a common place that we go to church. You know, some people have churches in town that are buildings. Our church is at Mountain. Spending time with the people, spending time with the elders um, and the leaders of the community is this whole situation is much bigger than a telescope. This is about humanity, this is about empathy, this is about respecting with a heart full of reverence a culture. We do a chant called Namauna Ho'oheno and it means the cherished mountains. It calls upon the power of the rains, and the power of the snow, and the power of the mist, and the power of the fire. And so it calls from Poliahu all the way to Pele. And it says, activate, activate, activate these mountains. Like a mother, it protects us. It keeps us from harm. Protect our livelihoods and our aina. Protect the people who live in this, on this land now. Make us strong, make us steadfast. Uh, protect us from the hurricanes that come our way. The hurricanes are not only the physical manifestations of, of the weather that's coming through, it's also the hurricanes of people and the, the movements of, of people building, you know. It's those kind of hurricanes today that we face. Aloha! I want to say to the uh, Kupuna and um, to everybody, I want you to know that uh, you know, I'm honored to be here amongst you guys, and it's so inspiring. It's so beautiful to see. This is such a critical moment and such a pivotal time because the world is watching. And the world is telling us and our community leaders and our elected officials that we have to pause on this and we have to approach this with a compassion and a care and a love and a reverence and a respect for our island and our people and our sacred land. I'm here, I stand with you, I love you all. Thank you so much for the love that you show me and my family as we've come in here today. I love you guys and, um, and stay strong. Thank you. Mahalo. To 
allow this to happen, I think, to allow this telescope to be put there, or just maybe not just a telescope, but to allow building there, threatens our entire life and our livelihoods and, and, and changes all of those spiritual connections that we have to the forest, to the top of the peaks. You know, they're, they're spiritual and um, they're powerful. And when we see them, we're reminded how powerful our people are. And so, um, you know, it, we can't lose. Today, I feel like we can't, we can't lose this battle um, because it's a loss for our people, a big, big loss. And we've endured so much loss already that we can't take another hit.